I would just like to take a few minutes just to explain how to complete the options form before handing it back into school. We have identified a recommended pathway for your son and daughter. This is based on prior attainment and performance across their subjects in the last year. However, it doesn't mean that a student cannot then switch to the Blenheim or the baccalaureate pathway, but it will have an impact upon the number of options that they can choose. Just look at the form. We have the same subjects for both pathways at the top. Every student will undertake English, Maths, Double Science and RS and they will then have a core PE lesson. This is non-examined, it's just about undertaking physical activity throughout Key Stage 4. Then we're into the options process. If we look at the Blenheim pathway first, if we're undertaking this pathway, each student will need to select one of these subjects here. This is what I will refer to as the extended core. And then following that, to record three further subjects presenting the full title of the subject in order of preference. If you are selecting the baccalaureate pathway, the difference is that the students have to select a humanities, so either history or geography, and then their second option has to be a language subject, either French, German or Spanish. Then they're into selecting two further options, again presenting the full title of the course and again in order of preference is key. For both pathways, this is an important step as well, identifying two reserve subjects. These won't be looked at unless there is a clash within the option choices that your son and daughter have made. And these won't be taken, but it is a good starting point for me to have a discussion about what the choices are and knowing a reserve is very, very helpful. No reserve will be taken unless there is um, a conversation with yourselves as parents and obviously um, your son and daughter will be integral to part of this process. Finally, um, we're then into the point of just if the form can be signed by yourselves as parents and as the um, student or son and daughter as well. This will need to be returned to their form tutor by Monday the 16th of March, that's the deadline to return the form, and we're suggesting here that you take a photograph of this before sending it back into school, it's just so there's a hard copy on the iPad or an electronic copy on the iPad will be very helpful. Also, in addition, there is a six-step guide within the option booklet about how to fill this form in. Hopefully that will be helpful in undertaking this process.